Well, North Korea is ramping up its bellicose rhetoric against the United States and South Korea. Supreme Leader Kim Jong-un is now warning he has an operational plan of attack and his forces are on standby. But many military experts say Kim's tough talk is just a lot of hot air. Our Asia correspondent Paul Johnson is watching the developments from neighboring China. Paul. Sophie, in the past 90 days, we've seen North Korea test a long-range missile set off a nuclear bomb and then get into this pattern of talking tough against the United States. And this culminated in this news today that leader Kim Jong-un has apparently signed orders to put his rocket and his missile forces on standby. Now, presumably, this is in response to several weeks worth of war games that the United States has been conducting with its ally, South Korea. And specifically this week, when the United States flew two B-2 stealth bombers all the way from Missouri to South Korea, where they dropped two dummy bombs and then flew back to the United States. This is the first time that the United States has ever used those aircraft in a drill like this, and those bombers are nuclear capable. In our country, we're building additional missile interceptors. They're prepared for anything that might take place, but hopefully what will occur is cooler heads will prevail and this will de-escalate and uh, hopefully we can have uh, fruitful negotiations about the future. Today, North Korea released a picture that apparently shows Kim Jong-un signing those orders to put his forces on standby. And in the background there, you can see what's apparently plans by North Korea to strike the United States. Now, as disturbing as that may seem, it's worth noting that there are no military experts who believe that North Korea actually has the capability of striking North America. And they also point out that all of this talk is probably just posturing by North Korea. And the real danger here is that some kind of an accident or a misunderstood order along that demilitarized zone between North and South Korea could mistakenly escalate into a shooting war. Sophie? All right, Paul Johnson in Beijing for us tonight. Paul, thank you.